God. No wonder he is fighting so hard. First Pompano. The hook came right out. Look at my hook swinging. My hook's over there and I got him here. Oh, wow. Alright, Pompano. We're not catching no trout, but we just I just hooked a Pompano. On the exact same spot that I hooked him last year. Exactly at this same time. Well, a little later. In April. We haven't caught any trout yet. <laughs> but we're damn near trying, I'll tell you that. Pompano. All right. What is the chances of me saying, hey, you know, we caught Pompano here last year? There she be. So I'm telling you, folks, when you catch one of these, these things fight you. They turn completely broadside on you. Okay. Sorry I had to do that, but, you know. I always say, sometimes I'm a ringer. I'm a ringer. What do I always say that I never catch any keeper redfish? They're either too small or too big. I catch 40 pounders or I catch 14 inchers. But guess what Paige just caught? That's going to be a keeper. I'll tell you something. We've been hunting around all morning. Zero trout. We come in here to this little shallow water spot, and she picks this guy up. So that's good. I'm very happy. She made me happy. <laughs> okay, I was a liar. I was a liar. I just lied. We just got a keeper trout. Not the biggest trout in the world, but we just got a keeper trout. So, redfish trout, pompano. It's supposed to be redfish trout flounder. That's your slam. Okay. But we have better than that. We got redfish trout pumping out. Nice little shot, of Mr. Redfish. All right. We're going to continue on. Little puppy red. Okay, leave him right in the water. Slide him right in here. Okay, there's the ones I'm talking about that I catch that are too small. Little guys. Okay, we have to throw him back. See how big this guy is? See, he's 17. He'd have to be another another inch longer. All right. Oh, he's a boiler. He's boiling back there. Go with him, go with him. We don't want him caught in the motor. Oh, this is a nice one. Oh, this is a nice one. Okay. Nice and easy. Just walk him in here. Oh, yeah. Oh, let them dogs out. Oh, yeah. Look at that, folks. This is your birthday fish. <laughs> All righty. Let's see. Good hook set. Right in the old gristle. See, I mean, when you got them right there, it's not like you're losing them. Yeah. That's, lip, like that. that's like a lip latch you got them on here. See how big he is. Lays all cooler. All righty, bigger than the other one. Woo, perfect. That's the way I like to see them. 25 and a half inches. 
Okay, we'll have to give you the real holder this time. You get the, the, the official fish holder, fish grabber. Alright, there you go. Okay, you want me to take a picture? Alright, perfect. Yes, this may be now where you're in the category of you got more than you need for lunch. Now you're into lunch and dinner. Alrighty. Okay, now what we're doing is we're fishing here in a little deep spot. Whoa! Oh, we got one on That's over here. One oh, this is a nice one. Here we go. Here we go. Get him in the boat. Get him in the boat, Paige. We're white. We're whitelid fishing. We're catching us a whitelid on shrimp and fish bites. Over here, we got one of them slappy in the fish. <laughs> That's a good one for the video. That's like a, uh, <laughs> what do they call that, a Prilosec commercial when the, the, whatever you're eating is beating you in the face? So, uh, we're catching us some Whitelin for the box. Fish donut. Mm -hmm. We're gonna try the Flazol Skinny Blade. Haven't really. It'd be nice if I locked it in, right? Too bad. Not too bad. All right, that was my first redfish with the long skinny blade. They ain't gonna attack you. <laughs> it's totally like fucking stuck inside. Don't you wanna feed him one? 